channel. As you can tell, this is a reading vlog. I'm currently busy reading Ready by David Rico. And technically I'm also busy reading Plagues and People by William H. McNeil, but that's upstairs in my room. I'm on page 61. So I've got about 100 pages left. I'm going to read a bit more this evening, see how far I can get with it. Um, because I'd like to give it back to the bookshop as soon as possible and not have it lying on my bookshelf for months like the other books that I borrowed from the bookshop. That is my short intro. I am going to get back into reading now and then I will check back in with you again once I've made some progress and update you on my reading. Um, and yeah, see what I'll read. Well, I think I'll probably continue reading Plagues and Peoples from there. Um, and I might start listening to Thanks for Listening by Julia Whalen as well. Good morning friends, I am just here to give you a quick update. Um, I read a bit more of Ready last night and this morning as you just saw. Um, I'm currently on page 105, so I only have 105. Um, Something pages. Not a hundred. What am I saying? Ugh, man. F 52 pages left? No, 62 pages left. Um, anyway, my brain cannot maths this early in the morning, apparently. But I've just started listening to Thank You for Listening by Julia Whelan on Whelan, sorry, on the, on the, <laughs> I was going to say on the book app on Everand. Scribd has now become Everand. Um, Scribd still exists, but the only thing that's on Scribd now is like PDFs and documents and articles that people upload themselves, whereas Everand is now where you find ebooks and audiobooks and podcasts and all those fun things. But I'm now listening to Thank You For Listening, and I'm so glad to report that it is, in fact, the narrator from The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo that I was hoping it was, which made me very happy because now I can listen to this book knowing that I won't be annoyed at the narrator's voice for most of the book. But anyway, I'm going to now go make myself breakfast and get ready for work and then continue listening to Thank You For Listening and I will check back in with you again later. Hello everybody again. Um, it's time for an update. I finished reading or listening to Thank You For Listening by Julia Whelan yesterday while I was at work and I quite enjoyed the book. 
I did find that some things were very predictable, but that's just, I feel, a thing in romance books. So I didn't take it too seriously. I didn't let that spoil my enjoyment of the book because I feel like most romance novels are very predictable because pretty much all of them have a happy ending. So there's that. Um, there were also a few things in the book that very early on in the book, when I read a few things, I was like, or well, when I listened rather, um, I already knew how they were going to turn out at the end of the book. And they did turn out that way. But still, all in all, it was a very fun romp. I very much enjoyed Julia Whelan's narration again. And I will probably be picking up her books again in the future. Then I also finished reading Ready by David Rico just a few moments ago. And I must say, I was a little bit disappointed in this book. It's an okay book. He focuses a lot more on relationships and like how to know when to leave a relationship and let go of past relationships and all those things more than any other topic that he says he will discuss in this book which is not really what I was after. I'm not looking for relationship advice because there is no relationship to give for me to seek advice on. I was a little bit disappointed by this book, but whatever. I still got some interesting things out of it. I still got some insights out of it that I can apply to my daily life. And yes, so now I have finished this book. I have already read three books this month. It is the 8th of November today. I am very chuffed with myself, but now the question is, can I keep this momentum going? Because this often happens to me. I often start the month out reading a lot of books or reading books quickly. And then towards the end of the month, it peters out. But I will say I'm very excited about the books that I still have to read for the rest of the month. Um, maybe we'll put an asterisk on Plagues and Peoples by William H. McNeil because, as I said before, it's a very dense book. It's very packed with information and it takes it's taking me a while to read. But I am going to be continuing Plagues and People in this vlog. Um, I'm still, I'm on page 54, for 54, 54. Hopefully I can do it by the end of the week because I would really like to have finished this book by the end of the week so that I can give it back when I go to work again next week at the bookshop. And then I still have a house full of daughters. Hey, I match my book. Look at me go. Can you tell I like blue? Um, a house full of daughters. I still have this to read, but I probably won't be reading these two in this reading vlog. Then I also have Pollyanna by Eleanor H. Porter. So these two books I will probably not be reading throughout the course of this reading vlog just because I'm going to focus on finishing Plagues and Peoples. And I know if I start reading one of these two books I'm going to want to read these two rather than reading Plagues and Peoples. So I'm going to force myself to only read this one until I've finished it.
daytime. Um, <laughs> I'm going to DNA of Plagues and Peoples by William H. McNeil because it's just not doing it for me, to be quite honest with you. Um, I was really intrigued to read about like the different plagues that have happened in history of humanity. Um, and so far, I'm almost at page 100 in this book, and so far all he has been talking about is agriculture and the way that people have moved around the earth since the dawn of time and how that has led to why there have been various parasites and plagues and things um, and then how each time people have moved and adapted and whatever then those plagues and parasites have nat naturally we have found a balance with humans and parasites and how we live with them and to be honest I find that all very interesting but you know, I, I'm interested in the history of the human race and how that has evolved from, I don't know, to however many million years ago we started. <laughs> to have, are we even a million years old? I don't know. But um, how humans have evolved and all the different species of humanoid, what do they call them, organisms have um, evolved over time and also have died out and how homo sapiens are now what is left basically but that's not what this book is about and that's not what this or well, well that's not what I thought this book was about and that's not what I wanted to get out of this book and sure maybe he will talk about plagues more uh, by the middle of the book but then I've already read like 150 pages of this book that gave me none of the information that I was looking for so I'm going to be DNAing this book now, <laughs> right now, <laughs> on this video. Um, so yes, I now have, I'm currently reading nothing. Um, I still have a house full of daughters and Pollyanna on my TBR for the rest of the month. Um, but I might end the video here. Sorry to end this on a, on a negative note. But um, I need to edit this video and get it up for tomorrow. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know. Um, you can give it a thumbs up if you like and leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And with that said, thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are. And I will see you again next week with another video. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.